Hi there, this is Jennifer with Brome Fields, and today we're going to be working on the Resolve Lace Stitch. And this is for a cocoon shrug that I have. And it's a super easy two row repeat. Well, it's technically a four row repeat, um, but it's just purl stitches on the wrong side. And I'm using Lion Brand Heartland um, yarn. And I believe I used a Grand Canyon on my final one. I'll put that in the pattern. And I'm using size nine knitting needles. Nope, I take that back. They're size 10, six millimeter. And you wanna cast on in increments of four. So for my swatch, I'm just gonna cast on like 16 stitches so that we get a few repeats so you can see how it goes. So row one is your wrong side row because see here how you have these little bumps here whenever you do the long tail cast on method now depending on your method um, it took me years to figure out there was a quote unquote right and wrong side whenever i do it so this here it's kind of pretty it has a uh, kind of a knit stitch to it and then this side it looks like there's a pearl so i like to start with row one being my wrong side row so I'm going to purl all the way across. And let's get that out of the way. Maybe that'll help it focus on my hands instead of the shrug. And then you guys can knit right along with me. All right, so row one, wrong side row, all purl stitches. So that gives me a nice mindless in between my right side. Mm thought-provoking side. So the first stitch is always a knit stitch. The second stitch is knit two together. So we're decreasing one stitch and then we're going to yarn over to increase the stitch and we're going to repeat that until we get to the last stitch. So we're going to knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. And I'm going into the front to knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. And then we're going to knit this last stitch. And then you should always have 16 or however many cast on should always have the same number of stitches at the end of the row. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you one of my tricks. But I wanna give you the basics first. So row three, wrong side row. Mindlessly purl all the way across. I think that I usually am not a fan of purling, but in patterns like this, I find it very relaxing because it's like, I can't mess it up. It's just purling all the way across. I mean, <laughs> I can mess it up, but it's less likely. All right, so row four. So you can see how we got our loops there. It's starting to look pretty. Now we're gonna, it's the same two stitches, knit two together and yarn over, except we're gonna alternate it so that we get kind of an offset um, yarn or eyelet mm, hole. We'll just call it a hole. So we're offsetting the holes. So we're still gonna knit this first stitch, but we're gonna do the yarn over first and then knit two together. So we're gonna do a yarn over knit two together, yarn over, 
knit two together. Oops, I didn't get that hole. There we go. Yarn over, knit two together. 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 Knit two together. And knit the last stitch. Now, my trick here, whenever you're doing all of your stitches and you come to your last three stitches on every right side row, I go back because when you have a hundred, like I think I have 150 stitches on this, I don't want to count 150 stitches. I mean, I did count a lot, but um, if you do this little trick, then you don't always have to count them unless you do make a mistake and then you do have a lot of counting to do and possibly going back. So if this second stitch, because your first stitch is always a knit stitch, if this second stitch is that yarn over, that means you end with a knit two together. If that first stitch is a knit two together, then you're going to end with a yarn over. And I really do recommend knitting a swatch like this, like make it a scarf, a headband, um, a coffee mug cozy, or a washcloth and use cotton yarn. <clears throat> That's completely fine. That way you do this pattern um, kind of over and over again before you do the 150 stitches because I found that whenever I started this big project, it was really frustrating because I kept making mistakes. However, the second time around was much funner because my my hands already memorized the pattern and I, I knew mentally what to look for in it. So I just highly recommend that if you want this to be a relaxing project, to start with a couple of washcloths, a scarf, something, using this pattern so that you have that repetition and you do it like a hundred rows or something. And then whenever you do your shrug, it will be enjoyable. You, I actually, I really found this relaxing. Um, once I figured out and I did my second one and it was relaxing. So yes, the first time around was very frustrating, but once my muscles knew what to do and I knew what to look for, my shrug was enjoyable. So I hope you guys find all these tips to be helpful and you enjoy knitting your shrug and you love wearing it. So definitely um, send me pictures, you guys. Like you don't have to tag me on social media. Um, if you haven't noticed, I'm not a super fan of social media. And I am, um, but I love to hear from you guys. And I love to see your guys' projects. And you don't have to share it with the world to share it with me. So uh, email me, jennifer at bromefields.com. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.